Well, hold the phone. Your smartphone could be hurting you all because of how you hold it. And considering how much time we actually spend mm -hmm. with these handheld devices, we decided to have Greg Argos find out how to avoid smartphone injuries. Greg? Well, just consider this. Research shows the average smartphone user is on their phone for nearly four hours each and every day. And now hand and wrist injuries from overuse are common, so experts have some easy changes on how to prevent them. What costs hundreds is used by millions and is touched by its users, at least according to one study, some 5,400 times a day. Check the time, check emails, check messages. From the time I wake up and throughout the day until I go to bed. From work to social to just keeping your day straight. We're talking about your smartphone, and it could be causing some serious damage to your hands and wrists. The problems with the thumb with the uh, tendons crossing the thumb and wrist. Joe Zaret is the owner of a physical therapy clinic which bears his name. He's seen an increase in customers coming in for treatment of their hands and thumbs from cell phone overuse, known by some as smartphone thumb. Any activity which is considered overuse will lead to potential tendon problems. No, not me. Not I, I, I use all fingers. Well, unfortunately, I haven't had any pain or discomfort when I've been using my phone. You're lucky. I know, because a lot of people are. Zaret suggests heavy phone users try stretching their forearms and wrists after long cell phone sessions. Doing a prolonged stretch in this manner right here. Is the key to keep the elbow straight? The elbow has to be straight. He also advises bulkier cases can provide better grip and possibly less stress on your hand. Compare this to the use of a tennis racket. Racket. Usually the, the bigger grip provides you with a better control. I got a thick case so, because I dropped my phone so much, so now that I know that, I'm glad I have one. Then how's it going to fit in your pocket, and then it falls out, and then it drops in the toilet? You know, it's, there's just the greater of two evils. Now, besides thumb injuries, Zaret says posture problems are even more common, especially with craning the neck forward, text neck, text like neck, you mentioned. Yeah. yeah, but another piece of advice he says is take the phone, try not to bend your wrist, keep it straight when you're using it. Your okay. wrist, at least. Your wrist, okay. Yeah, and then do, do those stretches. <laughs> or get, get a brace. Elbow straight. Get a brace from the <laughs> drugstore. Get a brace. Man, Man I've, I've, got, I've got some soreness in here. I thought it was my arthritis <laughs> flaring up, but I. It, what? <laughs> He's laughing. That thumb at war we did. Okay. Thank you, Greg. Good stuff. Huh?